most from Dream. I'm very excited. University. Kevin lost his sunglasses trying to do handstands in the ocean. It was raining in the morning, but yeah. we just had like this unexpected beach day where we're gonna get like maybe two hours of sun this afternoon, and we just like grabbed the chance and came. It's quiet, it's beautiful, it's not windy. It was an unexpected little beach afternoon. Mm -hmm. Might be our last time because it's gonna rain a lot. Yeah. From now on until we head back to pre and stuff. Hi guys, so today we are doing something that Kyoho has been dreaming about for the last several years. This has been this little dream of his since I've known him pretty much and we are finally going to get to do it today. He's very excited. You'll see what that is a little bit later. Uh, me, him, and Kevin are going to head out soon in about 15 or 20 minutes. Before we head out and fulfill Kyuho's little dream, I want to thank our sponsor today, which is Blinkist. One of my favorite things to do is to read books, but I suck at finishing nonfiction books. Blinkist is an app that helps you understand the most important points from over 6,500 nonfiction books. I have access to so much information that I can take in in like 15 minutes. The nonfiction books that I'm drawn to are usually things to do with managing stress and anxiety and building better habits. And one book on there that I always come back to is Atomic Habits. I love how it gives the examples of reducing or adding friction depending if you want to make a good habit or stop a bad habit. You can reduce friction to turn a beneficial behavior into a habit 
but you can also increase friction if you want to kill a bad habit. So you can either listen to these blinks or you can read them. They also have this new feature called Blinkist Spaces. And this feature allows you to create a space with friends or family where you can recommend titles to each other and all members of a shared space can access all titles in the space with or without a Blinkist premium subscription. So if you are a person like me who struggles a bit finishing nonfiction books, we have a link in the description box. You guys can get a seven day free trial and 25% off Blinkist annual premium by using our promo link in the description or by scanning the QR code. I love the feeling that I'm learning at least one little thing every day. Anyway, it is time to head out so Kyuho can fulfill this little dream that he's had forever. Let's go. <laughs> Hello guys, this is Quimple Road, Ardmore Tea Room. This, this is a place, a kind of diner that I always wanted to come. I've been watching like all these movies or even in Breaking Bad, they show these kind of special diners. And I always wanted to go to that kind of places, but in Korea, we don't really have that kind of places. And uh, I asked Sarah, is there any place in Nova Scotia we can go? This one was established in 1950s, I believe. Sarah's father also loves, uh, he used to go to these places a lot, so I'm very excited. Do you know what you want? Lumberjack. Oh. Like it? Yummy home style breakfast, but they do it better than me. Mm. Mm. Too soft. I know. <laughs> Was it everything you dreamed of and more? <laughs> mm. Yeah, we all like this Halifax shirt. It's really neat. My home. <laughs> we came to check to see if they had any sesame ramen because my parents and my brother love it, but they're all out of it right now. Yeah, last time when we came and checked, they didn't have it. My dad's gonna be upset. They have everything else though. Yeah, they have a lot. Your items are very different. Like you've got bread, I'm carrying rice. I know. <laughs> So we were kind of nearish by my old university. Um, it's just over there. I graduated from St. Mary's University in Halifax and Kyuho was kind of nosy and wanted to go poke around on the campus, so. I love your university. It has a history, right? 1802. Sarah, how come like any sh just neighbor cats will just approach to you? She's an old one. She's a little bit bony, oh, wow. but she's very sweet, friendly, or he. Oh my god, this is the sweetest cat ever. I feel like all Canadian cats are, they just know the manners. Oh my god, you're so fluffy. Yes, come to me. What a pretty little house you live in. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Ah, <laughs> oh, smart cat. 
So Kyuho, if you were a student back in the day and you came to my university and you're learning English, this is the language learning center. Hey, pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty new. I used to have so many classes in this auditorium and I would usually sit around like here. Yeah. It is really, really weird for me to be like back here. Even just the smell inside of the building where I would have a lot of my classes in that auditorium, it was just like so familiar. The, just like the smell of the wood of that old building and it just hit me like, damn. That was a while ago. Whoa. Yeah. I know. So where does this lead to? All across Canada. All across Canada and it comes from here and then goes like across the street and then they drop it off at the cargo place there. Bookshop. Use books? There. Yeah, there's no buildings like this in Korea. No, they're really old. They're like protected. They have this little thing on them. Heritage. Yeah, they can't tear them down. And if they need to be restored, they need to be restored in a specific way. Yeah, it can't change the like overall appearance and vibe of it. Wow. All right, we're looking for this ice cream place that we found down by the waterfront because Kiko wants ice cream. Kevin and I got hoof prints. Oh, that cone is so definite. <laughs> I got sea salt caramel. Mm. Mm, very nice. Do you see that ship way down there? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go check that out because it's kind of rare that they come into the harbor these days. They're like these huge tall ships from other countries. Yeah? Yeah, let's go peek. like a giant pirate ship. A lot of filling. <sighs> Hello guys. guys. So we enjoyed this week very much. Kiho got to fulfill his like, that was like a major thing on your, you know, list of to do's, yeah. his little dream. We watch all these shows and movies together. He's like, I want to go to a place like that. Yeah, like mm -hmm. an old yeah. diner that has history. history. Yeah, I enjoyed immensely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for finding oh, it. Oh yeah, no problem. My dad used to go there when he was like growing up because yeah. he lived just a street over. Mm. So we don't have that much time left in Canada, but we still want to like enjoy ourselves. Maybe film a couple of different things before we head back to Korea. Mm. But anyway, 
Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with us to uh, Q Host Diner. <laughs> and we will see you guys next week. All right. Bye bye. bye.